Due to the rain, most of us wanted to keep our drop bags inside the warm, dry lodge building that's located at the start and finish of each lap. Despite the rain, I ended up taking my rain jacket and putting it in my pack a couple miles into the first lap, feeling pretty good throughout. During the second lap, the rain let up and some fog moved in but overall, it was definitely my best lap of the race. I had decided that I was gonna change socks every two laps or 25 miles, and so I took the opportunity to do that now, and as I went out for my third lap, I suddenly realized it was about to pour the rain, and I put my rain jacket on just in time and this is when the temperature started to fall as the rain got harder. You got it, keep going Steven, you got it. Yeah, just lap three. three. Right. Uh -huh. Yeah, just lap three. Right. Uh -huh. You know, it's supposed to be delirious. Yeah. Well, we keep, we keep seeing people who are voluntarily running right now that we don't really understand. Like, they're not in the race. They're just out there running. We don't get rain with this very often. No, we don't. Usually it comes with flooding after lunch in the washes. Well, half inch will do it for us. I think Despite the falling temperatures and pouring rain, I still felt like I could do a sub 2400 miler and I was on pace for doing that so far. I've got orange gloves though, or that. Oh, yes. Keep going. What? Nine, nine. Ninety-nine. Hey. Steven. 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 Please stop raining. It was at this point I probably made my biggest mistake of the race. I was not eating solid foods. I should. I was taking all liquid calories. I should have been eating solid food at this point and I should have continued it, but my stomach was getting 
a little cranky, but that ended up leading to me slowing down tremendously over the next several laps. I think the issue I was having with my stomach was solely based on the fact that it was just so cold and raining and it just kept getting colder. It was also lap six where I started spending more time at the remote aid station instead of getting in and getting out. All right. <laughs> we'll work on that. You need any chicken broth? Get some stuff and come in. Yeah. You going to get your own in? Oh, you're going to be happy. Yeah. I brought my another pair of shoes. <laughs> I don't think you want to in this weather. <laughs> I barely want to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, mentally, I'm good. Physically, I'm good. I'm just, well. It's just cold. Yeah. And wet. I'm glad I see. In this lap, I just had no power. No power. That rain starting out just took it out of me. And I had a couple of spots where I was running downhill and realized I wasn't going that fast. I was like, all right, time to go into power walk mode. Yeah. Keep moving forward. Yeah, it's about finishing safely at this point. I was like, do you know what's on that story? Yeah, I was like, I don't know, should I sit here or not? The kid's know it's hilarious. Yeah. It's doing it's doing okay. Yeah. 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 And then she was just I broke my toe a few weeks ago. And I usually wear jeans, but I'm free. <laughs> you know, you can say we know how to suffer. Too late to follow it all. No, I don't know. While I was frustrated that I wouldn't get a sub 24 hour finish, I was very happy to have Chris join me and pace me on lap 7. What neither was expected was that the rain would turn into snow for a couple of hours while we were out there. Later this morning when it's daylight, I might and I get a nap, I might do that before we head out. Do something goofy for me. Oh, yeah, you seem much more. That's how I was hoping you'd be. It's your yeah. last lap. Exactly. Just, yeah. Just like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 300 rocks. Oh. Oh. 300, let's see. Wow. Did you get enough there? Do you want something more? I'm going to get some wipes. Wean my feet off with some alcohol. Nine. 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 Thank you so much. Sure. 
All right, you got it. Let's do this. I head out on my final lap with a fresh dry pair of socks. Since the rain had stopped, I wanted to make sure my feet were warm, especially as the temperature fell further and bridges started to freeze over. And then I send Emily ahead to make sure we get this. Just take a step and wait. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. Is it Emily? Is he doing okay? I'm doing fine. He's on his way. Okay. He's do, is he doing all right? He's doing fine. He's just trying. Did he stop at the aid station a long time? Uh, a little while. Okay. Come on, Steven. You got it. Results. Those are preliminary results. Okay. Uh, we'll have your the final results and your certificate and pictures and race information out to you when we mail it out Friday. All right. Sound like a plan. But you uh, can probably find pictures from the weekend uh, on our Facebook page. I'll be Should there. Be up there. I'll be there. there you go. Good job. Got it. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> now let's turn around and do a group picture for you. Yeah, okay. I can't thank my parents and sister enough for crewing me and supporting me all night long and during the entire race. Also, Chris and Emily were just fantastic pacers who kept me focused and moving forward during those last two laps. I wanna thank the race organization and all the volunteers for putting on such a great event during such challenging conditions and helping me reach my goal of becoming a 100 mile finisher.